Hi guys, I'm playing uh, War Robots Frontiers. I'm actually playing this on 25, uh, 60 times uh, 1440p resolution. So I'm not playing this on the 1366 by 768 like I normally do. I'm actually playing this on uh, 2560 times uh, 1440p resolution. Right, so this laptop is the um, MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. Right, I want to check uh, graphics. So everything in here is running on um, Epic. So it's all running on Epic. Right, I'm gonna play a game now. And um, right, so this is the MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. It's got an Intel i7 12800HX. It's got 16 cores, 24 threads, 8 efficiency cores, 8 performance cores. It's got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU with 16 gigs of VRAM. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's got three terabytes SSD. It's got two M.2 slots. In one slot, it's got a 2280, one terabyte. In the second slot, it's got 2230, which is the half uh, SSD. Uh, the, the type of SSDs you use uh, on Steam Deck. And that's a two terabyte. It's got Windows 11 Home. It's got 32 gigs of RAM. It's fully upgradable to 64 gigs. I haven't upgraded it basically because of RAM. It's expensive. $100 for a stick of 32 gigs. Uh, the RAM speed is 4800. Um, the laptop itself has a Steel Series keyboard. It's got RGB lighting. So right now I'm using uh, Disco on it. And at the front of the uh, laptop, it's got an LED. Uh, those are lights basically on the laptop. Like it's got a plastic covering. And that's like a light. I can change that uh, any color I want. And that that I'm using is called Disco. The cooling fan on the bottom is called MoJ C-50. That's M double o j a y c dash 50 it's got three fans here small fans three fans there and two big fans in the middle so that makes eight fans and that's got its own rgb lighting but that's got an led in it you see the laptop the laptop is also a 15 inch 240 hertz qhd oled display so that's an oled display that you're looking at and um, this, um, I'm actually playing this game, War Robots Frontiers. I'm playing this on, uh, with the resolution that I'm using is uh, 2560 by 1440p. So this is not being played on uh, 1920 by 1080. This is a full 2560 by uh, 1440p. So it's not like a 4K or 5K, this is not that. This is a 2K uh, resolution screen. But I mean, still, I mean, for what you're getting with the 240 hertz, it's still all right. You know, it's not bad. And I don't think I would want a 4K screen either because the performance wouldn't be good. I don't think. I'm just saying. Right. So my laptop was released in uh, 2023. Um, the, the robot that I've got right now. Oh, wow. That guy is causing damage. Uh, my my robot is a Fury robot. I've got two um, I've got two Okan Okan uh, weapons. Those Okan uh, rockets. They do not need a target to fire. I've got two Vortex. The Vortex do require um, something to fire on. Oh, he's, he's attacking something. Uh, the Okans require firing like a, they don't require a target oh damn <laughs> there's like four robots there's two there and two there two, two behind how are you supposed to fight versus four people like a sandwich right so the vortex basically require a target but they're heat seeking missiles so the only way you can run away from vortex 
is that you need to uh, find somewhere like cover uh, because if you're out in the open like this, it, it doesn't matter how you thrust and jump, those are heat seeking missiles that will hit you. Uh, Orcans do not require a target. Alright, this is a Raven, and Raven's got two rampant uh, weapons, and he's got, I think those are Orcan, he's got rockets on him. So these are grenades, um, grenades, the grenade launchers, two grenade launchers. And um, two all cans. So the all cans are rockets, like I said. The guy needs help. Um, every robot in this game does come with its own uh, built in abilities. So this, uh, this um, Raven has its own built in ability, which means that when the ability is active, it's like a laser that it fires from the front of it. So it's a built in uh, ability. Every robot can have two separate abilities apart from the inbuilt ability that every robot has. Fury only has the ability to reload its weapons. Uh, Raven has a laser in front of it. The next robot I'm going to use, if this one gets destroyed, is called a Harpy. That one has also, it's not a laser, but it's got a built-in ability that's quite cool. Um, uh, you see that laser there, the blue, you see? Right, every time you destroy a robot, your pilot will talk. So if you destroy one robot, the pilot will speak. If you destroy two robots, the pilot will actually say you got two kills, like you just said. If you, got, if you get three kills, it will say triple kill. In order to, to get your Titan early in the game, you need to get three kills. So the three kills that you do get in this game will contribute to you getting your titan early now is it a good thing to get the titan early yes because you can kill more robots with a titan than you can kill with an actual robot so if i get this kill i should be able to get my titan the problem is now his buddies know that i'm attacking him you see he's, he's doing that so he can get uh, his buddies to attack me and of course quite a lot of damage uh, how do you know your robot's going to die well if you start flashing red like i'm flashing I'm about to die basically, he's about to destroy my robot. What you need to do is find cover and hide. I've got an ability called regeneration. So when I use regeneration, my robot should start healing. You see, he knows that it's caused a lot of damage. That's why he's now coming for me, he's trying to kill me. But unfortunately for him, my team members have seen him. Uh, oh, wow, I don't know what he's used there. I think he's used, um, well, he's used something to, to run away. Um, I forgot the name of the ability. Oh, damn! Because he's dying too, you see. That's the thing. You see, he's, look at his robot. He's dying as well. Right, this one is a harpy. Uh, but the legs are not harpy legs. Those are bulwark legs. Um, you know, this, this game has got a lot of mechanics to it. So basically, why I say mechanics? Because uh, in order to, to carry at least four or more weapons. Oh, wow, wow. To carry more, more than four weapons. You need to at least have uh, the capacity to carry those weapons, yes? So this is, this is the only way I can say it. If your robot can not carry the weapons in the hangar, it will actually tell you the robot that cannot uh, go to the battlefield. So if you've got five robots, it will probably say only four are available. So if you're wondering, why can't I take that robot? Because obviously there must be something that your robot is lacking. Maybe it cannot produce the power, the, the power to power the abilities and the weapons. So you need to remove the weapons and try and put weapons that your robot can power up. Uh, or it could be that the weapons are too heavy for your robot. So why is my happy using uh, bulwark legs? Because the bulwark legs are the best legs at the moment that I've found that can carry more than four weapons. Actually, my robot can carry up to five weapons, but because of the ability that Happy has that I like, it's got this uh, weird um, circle, it's like a circle weapon thing that it fires. It, when it fires this ability, it causes a lot of damage. So I do like the built-in ability for Happy, and that's why I've decided to keep a Happy as my robot. I could have made this a full bulwark uh, robot or a Fafnir robot or something else but i i feel like the built-in ability is enough for me it's um it it does what i want it to do 
Right, so on your robot you do get the blue shield. The, 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 the line there, you see that coating around your robot that's blue? That's the shield. That straight line is a shield. Those modules, one, two, three, four, five, six. You see, I'll show you now. I'm using regeneration, I'm healing. Look at the module, it's, it's, it's filling up. That means I'm healing. If those modules, those six modules start going down, the robot will start turning red. And then if the, the other dudes um, do manage to ambush you, like in, get you in a corner where you can't hide and start attacking you, uh, you, you lose your robot. So it's advisable that when your robot is uh, turning, it'll be glowing red. If it's glowing red, you need to get out of that place quickly. Don't waste time, don't try and fight them because they know you're glowing red, they'll see it. They'll just see that you don't have any modules anymore. You see, just as I'm attacking that dude, I can see his modules, I can see his modules, he's still okay, but his team member there is flashing red. He's flashing red. You see, my team member is still in the blue, he's got, he's fine. Um, I can tell that those dudes are suffering. This guy is okay, but maybe I can attack him. I've just hit him with my built-in weapon. Look at the damage that he's suffering. He suffered a lot of damage. See? You see, he's, he's, he's not suffering yet. He's not dying yet. But if he, if he stays in the line of my fire, firing, he will suffer a lot of damage. He's kind of glowing red, but not completely. He's not yet dead. Right? He, he's getting me. He's, he's actually causing more damage on me. I think he's got... Um, I think he's got punishers on him. Punishers are machine guns. Right, he's got a partner there, so I have to be careful. He's got a an actual uh, team member. So I have to be very careful because there's two of them. Right, so obviously he's suffering damage, but his, his partner may not be... You see his, his modules, you see his modules. His modules are down, he's about to die, that's why he's running. He's trying to hide, he's trying to go, boom! There, what did I say? I told you, I told you, look at the modules and you'll know that the robot's about to die. When he starts glowing red, you're supposed to run away. He, he, he obviously didn't know or he didn't recognize that his robot's going to die. Um, if you get three straight kills, I've said this many times, just get three straight kills on this game and you'll get your Titan. Yeah? So uh, when your Titan's available, your, your, your pilot will tell you. So I don't know, I don't know, maybe that time when I was talking, the pilot did say Titan available. If you look at my modules now, look at the legs. You see the yellow part, there's a gap there. And if you look underneath the blue, there's two or three modules damaged. When I press regeneration, I'm healing. Look what's happening to those yellow things. My robot is going from the yellow to the green because it's healing. But I did get attacked by a robot. I don't know what robot attacked me there. And now that dude is acting weird. Um, Come on, come on. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't zoom in. I've got my Titan now, so yeah, nice one. I've got my Titan now, so I can, my robot is kind of expandable. Let me, let me try still to cause a bit of damage before I get my Titan. Oh, wow, wow, there's a lot of robots here. Damn, <laughs> that guy is using scatter weapons. What's he using? Oh, he's using rail guns. Right, that's a Fafnir. Uh, the next one, this one, I don't know, I, I don't know what that one is. I think that's a Fury. That's my Alpha, that's my Titan. Right, I'm gonna go up, up on top there because I told so many people I do not like um, fighting on the ground with Alpha, and I don't know why people do it. This this Titan is very powerful, but if you got the Titan with the head that spins, you can actually come and face off with this one and just spin your head and you'll destroy this Titan very easily. In fact, I, I told all my friends if if you are going to go to battle. Um, I'm just going to fire a beam. Who's this dude? Who's this one? Oh, come on, man. Honestly. So now I'm wasting my beam on one robot. I want to annihilate the entire squad. No, it's just one robot. Look at that. What a waste. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a waste. I wanted to annihilate the entire squad down there. You see, now I have to wait until this thing regenerates. Right, you can change the views. Look at this. You see there? I can see all of that. But if I change, I'm now seeing it from this angle. See? You can change the views of your robot. 
Um, all the robots can be upgraded. Every part of the robot, the torso, the chassis, the top part, the legs, the shoulders can all be upgraded. The weapons are fully upgradable and uh, the titans as well. Every part of the titan is upgradable. Uh, the titans do not yet have uh, pilots. Uh, if you've ever played War Robots, the game, then you would know that uh, this game is developed by the same... Uh, by the same... Um, this game is developed by the same, um, what do you call this? I'm trying to think of the word. Wait, wait. Oh no. I'm trying to find the, the button thing. Oh, okay, okay. I'm trying to get targets. No, come on. There's an alpha down there. This guy is coming close to me. So I need to keep my distance. He wants to know where I am. I know he, he wants to target me. Oh no, this guy's got some weapons. But that's an alpha down there. That that big thing. That I think that's an alpha. I do not want to face off with another uh, alpha like me. Right. I just want this thing to charge up. It's taking so long, man. It's taking really long to charge up. There you go. Look at them. <laughs> I got one. I got one. Ah, oh, wow. They, they, they're too spread out. They're too spread out. Right, they've got another enemy titan. That's a problem. Uh, the, other, the other issue is, if, if you do get the matriarch, which is the other titan, you can actually change the weapons. Just as you can with the alpha, you can also change the weapons for the alpha. It's uh, totally... It's at the moment they, they don't charge you for changing, changing the weapon. Uh, but what I, my advice is the, the weapon that, that uh, Alpha has is quite good. Don't change the weapon for Alpha. Change the weapons on, uh, the, the matri on the Matriarch because in my view the Matriarch doesn't have powerful weapons. But if you change the weapons on the Matriarch, make sure that you change them for the for the for the machine gun uh, type weapons because that that weapon is very good so at least with the matriarch swap the weapons wow they got a third titan they got three titans we only got me <laughs> my team the entire team's just got me why why am i not attacking them because if they find out where i am and they got three titans they're all gonna come up here and kill me so of course you want this game has a bit of strategy to it just we won nice one thank god <laughs> it's like i was getting scared i was like three titans what's wrong with my team why don't you get your own titans at the end of every match it will uh give you rewards and it will tell you which robot did the the best in the game like they showed a uh, raven as the one that did the most damage and then it gives you some points but i did say this last time i feel like it doesn't give you enough points and that can this game can really drag on for quite a while and you have to play um oh yeah i almost forgot to say the same people that made uh war robots also made this game um you know the the war robots the pixonic if you play war robots then you know what i'm talking about they, they made this game they, they're the same people that make this game, right? I haven't finished taking everything in here, um, but I, do, I don't like the shock train weapons. I, I do want the scatter weapons. I, I wanted all of these. Uh, well, I think I have all of them. I have four. I got four weapons. I think this dude is a legendary pilot, but I don't have enough to get him. Right, so that's a huge... A huge thing. I don't have enough to get the other stuff. These are customizations. One, two, three, four. I think that's like a sticker or something. That's a legendary pilot. Uh, that's customization for your robot. That's uh, spare part stuff. That means I can uh, upgrade my Titans or robot or whatever. Um, I've got all the scatter weapons, those are sun weapons. So I'm going to go to this third one and see if there's anything I can find here. 
Um, I think I've got infinite ammo already. I, I don't want to get stuff that I have. Let's see. I can get this one. Oh, I don't have enough for that. That's customization. I'll show you something. In here, I bought, I got everything in here. I have everything. Uh, in this one, I have everything as well. It's just this one, the third and the fourth. Uh, these are supply lines. I know what you're thinking. What are these for? Uh, that's another legendary pilot. Uh, this is the battle pass. So you've got to play the game and uh, you've got to get these, um, the green diamond things. That's how you buy stuff in here. And it's not easy to get them. Especially if you do not have a battle pass, it's next to impossible to get stuff. So with this game, you really have to come in here and be dedicated to playing this game. You can't just come in here and say, oh, you know, I'm going to play it for a little while. And then, you know, you can buy pilots as well. Uh, the ordinary pilots only cost 100 diamonds. But uh, legendary pilots do cost 350. Legendary pilots do have more skills, more skill set than the ordinary pilots. I'll actually show you. Let me go to my hangar. Uh, I think this one might have a pilot. Yeah, there. So with my pilots, if I look at the pilot ta ta uh, talents, you see, you get more for your bang, for your money. See? But to go up to level 5, I need a thousand diamonds. So it's not cheap. Uh, so you see, you get more talents, yes. Uh, to, uh, my uh, pilot's called Kate Sinclair, she's a legendary pilot. Um, so for one of these, right, I'm going to read the talents that I selected. The different type, but these are the ones I chose for myself, right? Uh, so let's see, this one's called Invention. Weapon reloads and ability cooldowns are faster. So that means when you're reloading your weapon and uh, cooling down is much faster. So let's look at the second talent. Uh, the second talent says shotgun weaponry. Shotgun gets damage bonus. Oh, you know what? I remember I changed the way. I don't have shotguns anymore. Uh, so I need to change this one. It's a good thing I came in here. Attack ma mastery. Attacking abilities get stronger. How about this one? Auto gun weaponry. Auto gun gets damage bonus. I don't have an auto gun, I think. Wait. Wait, wait. I just want to see what, what robot is this one? Oh, this is Fafnir. I, I don't have I don't have any built-in uh, weapons. No, I was just wondering. Okay, so that's attack mastery. Attacking abilities get stronger. Uh, this one says uh, far share. Uh, get as many honor points for an assist as you get for a kill. So if you get an assist, you you get um, um honor points. It says cooldown barrier. Get a buff weapon and ability damage against enemy robot now that's rubbish uh about this cooldown barrier right this one is the best because if you get an assist if you help someone destroy a robot and you get an assist on that robot you get um what uh, honor points if you play war robots you know what the honor points are. you get more uh things like at the end of the match more bonuses you know right so this one let's see in in end enhancement damage from all abilities is increased uh this one says shields matrix faster shield re restoration then the one i'm using is called firestorm protocol buffs weapon attack speed so your weapons are much quicker when attacking but this one says shields restoration and this one in hand investment damage from all abilities is increased how about this one buffs weapon attack speed i'm going to change it to this one only because it says damage from all abilities is increased and the robot that i am using is a fafnir and fafnir has an inbuilt uh, ability i don't know what his is I, I don't know the the is the full ability of fafnir but i know he's got a built-in ability so obviously saying you get like um stronger abilities so she's a level five and here i've got another pilot he's a level uh five they're all level fives all my pilots are level five uh, you see, when you just get the ordinary pilot, you don't get as many uh, ability options. You just get the single. So with this one, I've got Fortress. You have more health in each module. Uh, second, Auto Cannon Weaponry gets damage bonus. Third, uh, Combat as as Accelerator. Making an assist temporarily increases movement, speed, and mobility. So your robot gets faster if you help destroy a robot. And it says uh, metabolic drive, the robot has more fuel. So 
like uh, your shields and stuff and your modules will be having a bit extra like life basically fuel is like life or um shields or whatever modules you just get like more of that um you know uh, it says uh dead devil um you your fire your rate of fire is increased if you are close to an enemy 100 meters oh that's cool so you have to be really close to cause that kind of damage eh? wait this guy can have a fifth weapon but i know he can't carry a fifth weapon so that's a bit pointless let me see can i can i get in on that i want to know if i can have another robot i know it's not going to allow me to have another weapon see you see what i meant if it starts flashing red that means it's too much weight and less power it's not going to let you have those things and anyway i've got restoration which means i can heal the robot and i've got a missile I can fire a missile to to attack the other robots it's not a lot of missiles but it helps you just kind of you kind of like do a preview on the on the weapons you understand right i'll tell you some of these weapons this is a punisher it's a machine gun uh this one is called scratch it's an energy weapon this one is called shock train it hits one enemy hits the next enemy it's like a zigzag it, it goes through enemies i think it can hit up to three enemies if they're standing next to each other this one is a dra dragoon it's like an energy weapon it's a heavy weapon this is goes it's a laser weapon this one is Halo. I know people play War Robots are gonna kind of get confused with Halo and say, but that's locked down. Yes, I know in War Robots, but in War Robots Frontiers, this is a shotgun weapon. I know it sounds weird, but it is a shotgun weapon. Uh, all cans, this is rockets. And uh, Zeus is an energy weapon. A uh, lighter, that's a flamethrower. Uh, the pulse is an energy weapon. Well, it's like a rail gun, but it's, uh, it's like a, a machine gun that fires energy basically not bullets but energy it's a very good weapon it's a heavy weapon uh those are punishers again machine guns the quantum is a shotgun uh the real gun like it says it's an energy weapon but it's got long range this thing can fire at like 1000 meters or something it does cause a lot of damage if you carry a lot of these you can cause a lot of damage they're like sniping weapons basically rail guns so if you're good at them you can cause a lot of damage uh the screws like i said it's energy weapon the shredders are like the punishers except like i said last time the punishers uh, have more ammo and when they are firing their rounds like I'll, I'll explain to you a punisher is that you know that machine gun that spins round so imagine you're shooting your weapons and it's spinning round and as it's spinning around and firing all its weapons it's reloading at the same time the shredder fires all its weapons like a shotgun but then when it's empty it takes time to reload does that make sense so the punishers, the difference between these uh, shredders and uh, these punishers, those are punishers, is that these reload while they're shooting at the enemy. That's the advantage. So you won't be able to use them straight or straight after because they get hot, so they need to cool down. But at least they would be reloaded. But these one, the the shredders, this this one will fire everything like a shotgun, but it's a machine gun. It's got burst. So all the bullets fly out and then it takes quite some time to reload but the difference is once it's reloaded it's ready to fire unlike the sh the, the punisher that is still hot after being used you understand so those are the differences between shredder and punisher i hope i've made sense uh this one is thunder this is a sh heavy weapon it's a shotgun uh this one is um i don't know trebuchet it's like a sniper weapon it's an energy weapon but it's a sniper it's a heavy weapon you have to make sure that if you do put a, a fifth weapon you may lose your abilities and if you can't heal in this game it's not a good thing so i would rather you know that's what i'm saying sometimes if you can't go with the weapon of choice then just leave it i uh, you see this is a level three because i've been upgrading the the weapons this is a bayonet it it's got better accuracy but it's got low ammo this one is a Callisto, it's got more ammo, but it's not as accurate and it does get hot. You see, it's not that very, uh, it's not accurate. So after a while when you're shooting, it kind of starts missing the target, if you understand what I mean. But it's got slightly more ammo. This has got less ammo, it's more accurate, but less ammo. So I just stay, stay with the Callisto. I, as you, as you, if you click on it, you just go to the upgrade and it will tell, tell you how much it is. 
and then you click on that upgrade and then you can upgrade uh, every part of this titan can be upgraded every section you can upgrade there's nothing on this titan that you can upgrade that's the i think that's the torso that's the chassis uh these are the shoulders that's the shoulders and that's like a weapon thing so everything in here can be upgraded even the abilities you see if i click on this re uh, regeneration down here it says upgrade i can also upgrade that if i had enough uh of those circular things here those spare part things i could upgrade uh every section of this from the abilities to the to the legs to the upper part to the shoulders to all the weapons every weapon here can be upgraded including your pilots right i hope i've explained it quite well so this game is good because if one of these robots cannot go to battle it will tell you right here where it says drop team ready that means that all my robots including the titan are ready for battle right but let's say there's a robot in here that couldn't go to battle it will actually tell you four out of the five is ready if there's two robots here that can't go to battle it will say three are ready if there's four robots that can't go to battle because you refuse to listen to me about the weight you're carrying and the fact that you you may need to mix and match the robots um, structures to make them stronger to carry more weapons it'll make them slower but they can carry more weapons you know so if you don't want to listen and then you go four robots you can't take to the to the battlefield and you're wondering why doesn't he let me carry the weapons i mean they the, the take all my robots because when you when you go into any of my robots you see down here the weight capacity is good the energy capacity is good if i try to uh, add extra abilities to this robot it will deny me it will say red red here energy or the weight or whatever it depends on the ability you're trying to take so here you see everything is green i've got a missile i've got regeneration that means this robot can heal raven can heal a happy can heal happy's got a missile uh what else uh, this is a ravana ravana's got regeneration can heal and it's got a missile those are extra abilities and when you go to the last one dude here that's a fury i've got two fury robots i've got raven i've got happy and i've got a fafnir right so this one has no abilities why obviously it will lack power and then i have to remove this i've got a flamethrower the incinerator is a heavy weapon uh flamethrower these are all cans like i told you don't require a target they will fire at anything those are shredders like i told you burst this is the only thing it would allow me to carry you see sometimes it will give you a tough option and say you can't carry that weapon because it's too heavy and you say but i want a punisher you can't take it because what's going to happen here where the weight is is going to start flashing red it'll be just be red you say i don't care i'm i'm going to take this to the game because you know it's it's a game uh it's, it's not real life and then you'll you'll try to take it and it'll tell you you can't take that robot in fact when you jump in the match you will not fight with that robot you'll have to come back and listen to me and change the weapon so that is green and that's green that's energy that's weight that's why you find me using the fury uh chassis a lot in this game like look at this dude uh his legs are griffin right fine that's a happy his legs are griffin uh this dude is a fury yeah he's got fury legs look at the top part uh the torso is level four and um, the chassis is level five did i get them like that no you get them at level one so how did mine just happen to get to that level you need to pay for it well you don't pay for it sorry this is not a pay to win game like war robots in this game how do you upgrade you need to play the game yes you you need to be stuck and dedicated in this game finish the game because if you do not finish the game and you get tired and say oh this is boring i'm just gonna leave the match you'll get nothing it will won't it won't give you anything it, it's it's just like you play the game and you quit i'm tired i'm done i'm gonna play something else and come back later to check if i got any rewards it'll give you nothing that's how this game is so it's more beneficial to stay there until the match ends if you don't want to play the game just just don't worry about it your robots will keep getting uh teleported there and destroyed and uh you can just leave it and come back and get some kind of reward but it's just more beneficial to play the game because in my view this is a good game uh the top part of this one the torso is fafnir the to the chassis is fafnir the show both shoulders are fafnir this entire robot is fafnir uh, i'm using um this uh what what are these weapons called 
Scarlet Weapon, those are sound weapons and a lighter, that's a flamethrower. It does have abilities regeneration, that's for healing. The missile is the only thing it would give me. It will not, you see, if I try to use anything else, well, it would give me something else, but I don't think I want these other things. Wait, actually, you know what? I think I'll go with this one. That is also a good ability. This one is uh, it's like a stun grenade. But you have to target the robot you want to hit. And then if you use this one, you can blind the enemy. You can blind them, even if it's a titan, and attack that dude because he can't see you. And then you hit him enough times, and maybe if you got good weapons, you can destroy him. I mean, I don't use it that much. You can tell. I, I prefer the missile, but I mean, just for the hell of it, why not? You see, it also let me, it lets me use the shields if I want to. But you see, if I had this infinite ammo, it wouldn't let me have this. I can have a shield, I can have that. That's just like a, similar to a shield, but it doesn't go for your robot. Right, so infinite ammo, what does that mean? That means when you've got that ability uh, and you use it, all your weapons will be free, fully loaded. So you can just pounce, pounce, pounce as much damage as possible until the ability wears off. You get a few seconds, but it's enough to destroy a robot. You understand? Uh, so I did show you what happens if you, you see, it goes red. That means you can't use it in a battle. All of my robots are in the green, and that's how I keep mine. So that's why I'm saying this game is quite, it's got some intelligence to it. So what I'm saying is, the best thing to do this game is just to learn it and to play it. I mean, you can play this on Steam Deck on medium graphics. Sharpness is set to 100% on AMD FSR and then FSR mode should be performance and uh, Sharpness 100% and in the, if you're playing so on, War Robo, uh, on Steam Deck, you need to go into controls. Uh, I'll show you now. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's go to settings. Uh, settings is here, controls. So it's con graphics, then sound, then controls. So it's after sound. In here, you need to use your mouse to drag the mount sen sensitivity, drag this from 7% to 1%. <coughs> Once you've done that, that's it, and you can play the game on Steam Deck, on medium graphics. Sharpness 100%, motion blur 0. <coughs> and where it says auto detect, just turn that off. Uh, because every time you try to play the game, it will, it will try to change your settings. So if you don't want that to happen, just... Uh, um, I'll show you actually going to settings uh, go to graphics all the way down here I think it's somewhere around here where it says auto detect settings on start just make sure it's off because it will it will remember what you set it for just make sure that's always off you do not want this to always auto detect for you it may not give you what you want you know actually let me see this thing do I have I don't have enough for this thing. It's a turret thing. Right, anyway, I'm going to continue playing the game. At the moment, it's saying I'm getting 58 to 59 FPS.